right now I'm testing out this Peltier cooler I bought a long time ago. I bought some heat sinks and uh, some thermal paste. So I got some videos coming up later on that uh, will be better. But in any case, when you put current through one of these, one side gets hot and the other side gets cold. So now we're looking at the warm side. You can see the top of the Peltier cooler here, or thermoelectric cooler, whatever you want to call it, is uh, more white than the background, the metal. But you can see it's not as warm as, as uh, my finger. So it's not uh, terribly warm. I'm being careful how much current I put through. Now when I flip it, you see the other side's a lot darker. So to try to keep the Peltier cooler from burning out, I limited the current to 0.1 amps. So this is about uh, 110 milliamps. So to keep the current down, the bench power supply is keeping the voltage to about 0.3 volts. So now I'm going to turn the current up. Looks like we're going to stop at uh, 0.17 amps, 170 milliamps. And now we'll take a look at the Peltier cooler again. Alright, so again this side's white. I think it's showing up pretty good. That says there's uh, some heat. Not as warm as my finger though. So uh, we shouldn't be any risk of it burning out. And of course the other side of course is uh, still uh, pitch black. Uh, looks like we're getting a temperature reading about uh, 80 on this side. And looks like about uh, 72 on uh, this side. So now we got it about as white as my hand. I turned the current up till we got up to uh, 0.37 amps, 370 milliamps. And you can see this side's really white, about as white as my finger now. And of course the other side is uh, still dark. So now the Peltier cooler, the thermoelectric cooler, its goal of course is to make cold. And it does that on this side. But at the same time it's making heat on this side. And there's no moving parts or anything. You just run current through it. One side gets hot, the other side gets cold. But it's a lot better at creating heat on this side. So it's really not efficient. And you need to dissipate that heat or you'll burn out the component. That's why I was so careful the amount of current I put through here and slowly stepped it up. And I really stopped it at about body temperature. Make sure I didn't burn it out. But I have heat sinks ordered and uh, thermal paste too. And so I'll be able to do more in uh, future videos. But I still think it was fun to look at this under the FLIR camera. Uh, even under these mild conditions.